hi guys and welcome to my channel i'm not going to be in the camera today or in the frame because i want to show you guys my closets and my clothes storages and how i am about to go through all of this stuff uh to one minimize the amount of stuff that I have to prepare myself mentally and physically for van life even though I don't have a van yet I want to start taking steps to prepare myself for van life I'm gonna start selling stuff uh, I'm gonna have a garage sale I don't have a car so like it's hard for me to have a garage sale uh, but I'm just trying to brainstorm and come up with ways that I could have a garage sale even if I can get a dollar here and there for stuff uh, every penny and every dollar adds up to something so that's one of my little this is like a little small storage closet which for most people living in van life this would be like amazing but yeah so I'm gonna show you that closet and let me show you something else so you guys this is pretty much where I keep the clothes that I wear every day I have this little shelf thing and I'm trying to figure out how I could uh, transition this shelf thing into van life possibly under the bed or whatever but it's actually made of like solid wood so it's very heavy these are mostly the clothes that I wear on a day-to-day -day basis uh, probably half of these clothes I the pants I probably cannot fit because I have gained some weight but uh, like the pants are pants that I really 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 love and love the fit of them especially like cargo pants and army pants so we're gonna and I have a lot of t-shirts because I like wear t-shirts almost every day and I have a lot of clothes because I can go like months at a time without washing and wash like once a month or whatever but that's probably not going to be practical for van life so that's one storage place for clothes and let me show you another one so this is another storage closet and uh, another clothes closet this is mostly like dress clothes and coats and as you can see I got a lot of clothes which I don't wear because I don't go anywhere so yeah I'm gonna have a lot of stuff to have a garage sale with <laughs> hold on let's show you yet another closet and this is not including my drawers and my dressers so mmm okie dokie smokey I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this one that good because it's kind of dark but this is like another closet with like jackets winter jackets and coats and stuff and yeah so this is a lot of stuff to get rid of you guys and I want you to keep in mind like when you are deciding to become a minimalist or you're deciding to downsize just a little bit it might be kind of hard for you to let go of stuff and for you people who are watching the video who are already minimalist, don't judge people for probably still keeping the majority of the stuff because it's a process and they have to mentally wrap their mind around getting rid of things and mentally see that they're not going to need those things. So, like, anything that they get rid of is a step in the right direction so basically the process that I'm gonna use for going through this stuff and deciding what I'm gonna get rid of like these shirts right here I love like little tank top shirts and I can wear them every day so I'm probably not gonna get rid of, rid of any of these but the thing about it is going to be like when I enter van life I won't have these things on hangers anymore they'll be rolled up and folded up so uh, probably the little shirts like that are tank top shirts I'm probably not gonna get rid of those because I wear that type of stuff every day uh, the longer sleeve shirts 
and the hoodies and stuff is not stuff that you'll be wearing every day but i also have to consider like once i enter van life i'm going to probably be traveling to places that are colder than i'm used to because i'm in texas and we don't really even get a winter like it could be in february and we still haven't seen any cold so uh I'm probably, and I like t-shirts a lot, and I also like stuff that can tra transition to casual and dressy. So I'm going to keep this because I can wear one of my little, uh, uh, what do they call those shirts, little t-shirt thing underneath that. And it's probably going to seem to you guys like I'm not getting rid of anything. But like I say, I want you to know that this is a journey and like this shirt i probably want to keep a few things too that could look dressy every now and then so like i'm gonna keep that i'll probably get rid of this probably get rid of that uh this little red shirt is something that could be casual and dressy at the same time but I'm probably gonna get rid of that uh, I'm probably gonna get rid of this I'm probably gonna get rid of this and where I'm gonna get rid of this stuff too I have no idea like I said it's gonna be hard to have a garage sale when you don't even have a car to and you don't even have a house i live in an apartment i'm probably going to keep this shirt because this can go from dressy to casual uh oops that came off the hanger i'm probably going to get rid of that i need to set my camera down i'm probably going to get rid of this let me find some kind of way that i can set my camera up so i can go through this and let you guys see it but my hands are free let me get my tripod oh my goodness this is a hot mess you guys i have so much clothes to get rid of and you have to start somewhere and like i say i don't have a vehicle i don't have a car but i'm starting because i know this is something that i want to do and i just have to keep myself busy and be doing something while I'm waiting on everything to fall into place. So let me set my set my tripod up. This is kind of going to kind of be very hard to do without getting into the frame. So what I'm going to have to do is just grab the item and bring it down and show it to you guys. Um this I probably We'll get rid of, or maybe I will just get everything down and just show it to you uh, in another area. So let me do that. Let me go through everything. Let me go through everything, decide what I'm going to get rid of because there's nowhere for me to put my camera right now. Uh, where you can see because I have to actually physically get in there so I'm going to go through everything in this closet and then I'll come back and maybe sit on the floor and show you everything that I got rid of and kind of show you what's left and then once I see what's left in there I'm probably going to have to decide to go through it again because it's probably going to look like too much to me because I have to consider like I have four different closets and dressers and drawers so I'm probably going to have to downsize this more than what I even think. So it's just going to be the initial going through and finding what you think you need to get rid of. And then going through again and finding what you have to get rid of. So yeah, let me do that. So guys, I just want to show you the initial process. This is what I have left in the closet. And these clothes were pushed tight. These are just empty hangers. Uh, but the majority of the stuff that I didn't get rid of is still down here on hangers. So that's just the initial step from one closet. So what I'm going to do is go through another closet and 
uh, put all the items that I'm going to keep and then I'll end up bringing them over here so I can have everything together uh, so yeah so let's go through closet number two so guys this is closet number two this is the before and this is probably like dressy stuff so I'm probably not going to need all of this just like one or two items a couple of coats that I probably really love that I am going to probably keep so yeah let me go through this and we'll come back and see how it looks after I to take everything out that I don't need okay so you guys this is how the second closet is looking uh, the majority of these are coats like this is a coat and this is a coat I'm not taking the coats out right now because of course I know I'm not going to keep all the coats but I am going to have to do a deep dig deep and debate on which coats I want to get rid of and which coats I want to keep so for now I'm just going to keep those all into the pile so what I'm going to do is take all of this out of this closet put it into the other closet and therefore this closet will be empty I might hang the stuff back up that I'm going to get rid of to just make this the closet that I'm going to get rid of stuff so let me do that and I'll be back so you guys this is the closet now I've taken everything out of it that I will not be using and I'm going to actually leave the coats in so I can decide. I'm probably going to move the coats to the coat closet so I can decide which coats I'm going to keep and which coats I'm going to get rid of. I'm the type of person that can't stand the winter and can't stand the cold. So I need coats, y'all. I probably need coats more than I need underwear. <laughs> so let me go through my shoes right there. These are some shoes. Let me go through those shoes and see what I'll be getting rid of. Okay, you guys, so what I did was I took all the clothes that I was going to get rid of and I hung them in this closet. So, yeah. Um, and I have still so many clothes on the floor of the other closet. So, and then let me show you guys. Let me turn this light off. Let me show you guys this. So now we have to go through this whole thing with all these jeans. This is mostly like jeans and pants and t-shirts. And like this is what I probably wear. Let me pull this curtain back. This is what I probably wear on a daily basis, day in and day out. Uh, but like I say, I've gained some weight and half of this stuff, as far as the pants are concerned, I probably can't fit. But even though some of them I may not be able to fit, I lose weight fairly easy once I start moving around and staying busy and stuff like that. So like a couple of things I'm going to keep regardless of whether I can fit or not because uh, like if I lose the weight or when I lose the weight, I would probably go out and repurchase those things again because I love them so much like my camouflage and stuff like that I would actually never get rid of that kind of stuff so what I'm going to do is let's tackle this this is gonna be the harder job because this stuff to me is harder to let go of because I like wear it all the time but it's still too much to take into van life so yeah yeah let's do this <laughs> so I'm gonna start down here on this bottom shelf I'm pretty much gonna look at the jeans see what size they are see if it's my favorite pair of jeans and I might even have to try on a few pair to decide if they are a pair of jeans that I need to get rid of or not. And I'm probably going to have to try them all on because like I said, I can't, I really love Levi's. So I'm going to put that in the keep pile. These are a pair of workman's jeans. I'm going to put that over here to the key pile. I'm still going to try them on. 
I'm going to put these in the sale, get rid of pile. I'm going to put these in a sale, get rid of pile. My Levi's put in the key pile, but I'm going to try all of those on. Um... I'm going to put these in the key pile, but I think I'm going to end up getting rid of them. Key pile, but I'm, I'm going to try them on, so I might end up getting rid of them. Uh, I'm going to put these in the key pile, but half of the stuff that I'm putting in the key pile, I'm probably going to end up getting rid of. I'm going to put these in the get rid of pile. I'm going to put these in the keep pile. And these little shorts, I'm going to put in the keep pile. So I have some pants down here. Let me see if I can move the camera so you can see. So yeah, I have some jeans down here. These are like my favorite, favorite, favorite pair of jeans. They fit so well. Even though I think they might fit a little snug right now. These are Wranglers. But they're like stretchy, you guys, around the waistband. And I love them. So I will keep them no matter what. These are some Riders. I'm going to get rid of those. I'm going to probably... I'm going to try these on and decide. These are some old school man, men pair of Wranglers. I'm going to try those on and keep them possibly uh, I'm going to get rid of those get rid of these uh, get rid of those now let's move on so let me show you guys what I think I'm going to keep but I'm sure that this pile is going to get even smaller because I'm probably not going to be able to fit this stuff. So we went down from two beans to one. So we're doing a little something. So this is what I think I'm going to keep, but I'm probably going to end up getting rid of half of that because I probably can't fit it. So let's go over here to the t shirts. Let's go over here to the t shirts. I think the t-shirts, or I don't think these are t-shirts. I think these are like exercise pants. And these are going to kind of be hard because I wear spandexy exercise pants all the time. So, I think I'm going to keep this black pair. But I really do need to downsize this because I'm not going to be going I don't know if I can still go a whole month without washing I would love to do that so <laughs> half of these I'm going to have a hard time convincing myself to get rid of and I have even more in my drawers so I got to do it though I got to find a way to do it I got to find a way to do it it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. But you're not going to need all this stuff in a van. In van life, you're not going to need all this stuff. You're just not. You're just not going to need all this stuff, girl. So, just do it. Just get rid of it. Just get rid of it. Just find a way to get rid of it. And then, you know, one thing you guys about keeping stuff is once you start loading up your van and you see you don't have room to put it, you'll get rid of some more stuff. So don't be scared that you're keeping too much stuff because I feel like once you actually get into the space and you actually see, hey... I do not have room for all this junk. And you will start to get rid of it. Some of them I can just automatically, like I probably shouldn't even be having these things now. So I could automatically say, mm, nope, get rid of that. Get rid of that. 
So yeah. Some stuff I'm just going to get rid of. And some of this stuff I have to become a skinny mini again in order for me to wear it because I ain't no skinny mini no more. So I'm going to put everything back in there to show you guys that I did get rid of a lot. And I can show you the pile over here. I did get rid of a lot, but it's still a lot. And when I put bring everything together from all locations... I'm probably going to have to get rid of half of it again but just have all of the pieces together that I thought I was going to keep so that way uh, I get to choose from my favorite pieces so yeah so that is what I have left and this was packed front and back this is over here what I am getting rid of. This is a whole pile of what I'm getting rid of. So let me go up to the other shelf. <laughs> yeah, I like that squeaking sound. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not, huh? So these are t-shirts. Like I said, t-shirts are going to be harder maybe not but harder for me to get rid of because I wear t-shirts every day okay so I'm kind of leaning toward keeping the t-shirts that could be a t-shirt but kind of look a little bit more dressy casual so or a t-shirt with a meaning behind it or a t-shirt with a purpose so or something that's not really a t-shirt but it's kind of see something like this that's kind of like dressy like so yeah I'm gonna be keeping this one and then another thing you want to consider like I'm from a state that is very hot so I'm sure the states that I'm going to probably will be more likely to visit are states that are hot so I will probably keep the same kind of attire that I already have so uh, oh, I don't know what I was saying but I know you guys don't want to see me do this whole thing so I'll come back after I narrow everything down. Okay, I'll be back. So you guys, I finished the other one. And so now I have two empty cubby holes. And the two at the bottom are full. And so now I am moving my way up to these two right here. I don't know what's going on with my camera. I ain't focusing right. Hold on. Hold on. So yeah, these are the two that I'm moving to. So I have like a total of eight 
more to go. Up, 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 up. Eight more to go. So I'm going to work on these two right here. Okay. Oh. Okay, you guys. So um, I narrowed it down to one. And I was like, self, let's make this easier for yourself. Why don't you just keep everything? <laughs> and then I was like, no, I can't do that. So, yeah, I narrowed it down to one. But half of this stuff is probably going to be uh, eliminated once I try it on and realize I don't like the fit or it can't fit or whatever. So, at least I'm narrowing down stuff initially. Then I have to actually physically try stuff on and then that's going to narrow it down. And then when I bring all of my stuff together from all of my dresser drawers and everything in my closets, then I can narrow it down again once I have all of my favorite things all together and be like, okay, yeah, I need to keep so many of this and so many of that because you guys, like I say, I like to go a very long time before I watch clothes and I'm still leaning toward that method and that theory even in van life like as long as I have a place to store my dirty clothes, I would like to go as long as possible before washing clothes again. Like every week washing clothes, that's, uh-uh, nah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> so yeah, let's go up to the next six shelves that we have to go. I'm just going to pull them bad because down on the floor and go through them. So yeah, six more shelves, y'all. Whoa. So let me show you the two shells that I just showed you up at the top. They're kind of harder to go through and get rid of because these are the favorite kind of pants and, and shorts that I like. These are like the men style cargo uh, pockets, deep pocket pants, and I love these. And they're kind of harder to get rid of so what I'm going to do on these is put these all back and I'm going to have to try these on and do a process of elimination that way because I just can't do this process looking at them because yeah I love that style pants too much so yeah so now I'm down to four Four cubby holes keep, four cubby holes empty, and four more cubby holes to go. So I'm just going to come back once I finish the whole thing. So I'll be back. 